wrong for removing my daughter's bedroom door because she won't stop slamming it. I, 40 female, have three kids. Maggie, 14 female, Levi, 12 male, and Charlie, 10 male. Levi and Charlie share a bedroom and Maggie has her own room as the oldest and also only girl. Maggie is a great kid. She does her homework, helps with chores without too much complaint, doesn't bug her little brothers too much. The issue is that she will not stop slamming her bedroom door. When she gets up to use the bathroom at night, she slams her bedroom door on her way out and back in. When she gets up in the morning and goes to bed at night, she slams it. Pretty much any time she enters or exits her room, the door gets slammed. And it's only her door, none of the other doors in the house. It shakes the walls and frequently wakes up everyone else in the house. Her brother's room shares a wall with hers and our bedroom is directly above theirs. We've talked to her about it and asked her very politely to please be more mindful about it because it is disturbing the rest of us, but it's in one ear and out the other. We try being more forceful about it, saying that if she continues to slam her door, there will start to be consequences. Still, nothing changes. It all came to a head the other night when she got up to use the bathroom and all four of us were woken up by the slamming. I have to be awake at 5 a.m. for work and I've had enough of the broken sleep and came downstairs and knocked on her door. She opened it and said, what? With such an attitude and it took a lot of self-control to not start yelling. I told her as calmly as I could that if she slammed the door one more time, she was going to come home and find it gone. She proceeded to yell at me to leave her alone and then slammed it five times as hard as she could. Well, the next day, Friday, she went to school and my husband and I both had the day off so we took the door off the frame and installed a curtain rod with nice heavy curtain over the door instead. She came home and freaked the f*** out. She said we were being emotionally abusive and taking away her right to privacy. She sulked all weekend and won't talk to us now. My mother says I'm the ass. I overreacted, but she doesn't have to deal with the house shaking. I want to add that we completely respect each other's privacy in our house, which is why we hung up a heavy curtain and made sure that we couldn't see through it or around it. We even put little Velcro pieces on the walls and curtain sides so it stays in place. She still has her physical privacy, which she is absolutely entitled to, but can't slam a piece of fabric. We also have never and still don't just go into her room unannounced and still knock on the wall to ask permission to enter. We've told her we'll happily put her door back on once she agrees to respect the no slamming rule. Am I wrong for not attending the engagement dinner my future in-laws threw for me after my fiancé hid my engagement ring? My fiancé, 31 male, proposed to me 28 female days ago. He has this habit of joking around and pulling pranks from time to time. It bothers me sometimes, but I try to have patience. His family wanted to throw us an engagement party at a restaurant. I heard his mom talk about how expensive this place was and how much money they paid for reservations, so this clearly was a huge deal for them. My fiancé and I were getting ready, and I noticed my engagement ring wasn't where I left it before I entered the shower. I freaked out and looked for it everywhere. I asked my fiancé about it, and he said he didn't see it. I freaked out and was running out of time for the party. He sat there watching me, almost losing my mind trying to find it, to the point where I started crying because without the ring, I couldn't show up to the party. I kept thinking about what his family would say and how they think I was irresponsible to lose the ring that is somewhat expensive. I gave up looking and sat down and just cried in frustration. Next thing I knew, my fiancé was standing in front of me laughing with his hand extended to me with the ring in it. I asked where he found it and he could barely speak and say that he hid it from me last minute before the party as a prank. I was in shock, but I just sort of blew up on him and started yelling saying that he hid the ring, made me freak out for 2 hours and almost made me miss the party. He was like, relax, it was a prank okay, don't make a big deal out of it and ruin the evening. I told him I wasn't going to the party and that if his family asked, I would tell them it was because he hid my ring. He freaked out and started begging me to let it go and just go with him, but I refused and went into the bathroom, took my medication and stayed there. He lost it and kept saying that I blew this out of proportion and that I ruined my own party and cost his family a lot of money and disrespected them by not attending. His family found out and they were mad at him but also me for choosing to not attend and getting over it but I was in a horrible state emotionally and couldn't handle being in public after what had happened. Am I wrong for high-fiving a stranger who humiliated my boyfriend? My boyfriend and I go to the climbing gym regularly. He is really into it and I just started climbing a few times a week. He's stupidly competitive about it and quietly insults beginners who are not as good which makes me feel self-conscious because I'm a beginner. Last night, we were at the climbing gym again and he was doing a V6. There was about six people taking turns on the problem, probably because it's a newly installed route and they were all failing. Then, a girl came and flashed it. She made it so easy, but at the end, she didn't hold the final hold for 5 seconds and my boyfriend called her out after she was done. Holding the last hold for 5 seconds is supposed to be the right way of finishing a route, but she was doing it so easily, she definitely could have. I think he was just being salty because she didn't when he couldn't. I gave her a high five because she was walking towards me and did amazing at the problem and knocked my boyfriend off his high horse. And she was surprised but high fived me back. My boyfriend turned to me and gave me a what 
look and wouldn't talk to me the rest of the night. When we were heading home, he ranted that I couldn't be trusted to watch his back if I chose to take a stranger's side over him. I was shocked that's what he took from the climb and told him he shouldn't have nitpicked her when she clearly climbed it correctly and he got mad and argued I was supposed to take his side over people I don't even know. 